Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss another very important concept with window function. Okay, and this concept surely is going to help you in any data engineering or data analysis related interview process because this kind of window function and different applications of window functions are widely used in day to day data analysis. Okay, in real world projects, right? So today we are going to discuss partition by clause with application. Okay. So suppose you are having one employee table and the requirement is department wise top three salaries. Okay. That is top three salaries for individual department you have to return using one SQL query. That kind of requirement suppose you are getting then how to solve. Okay. So try to visualize this concept. It is very simple. Just recall our previous fundamental discussion on window function i have clearly mentioned that there are majorly three parts in the over clause one is on which column you want partition number two on which column you want order by and number three is what kind of window you want to apply whether that is cumulative window or that is sliding window right now today our focus will be understanding the application of partition concept okay so if you see this particular table is there suppose this is one table related to employee in a particular company department sales and technical two distinct departments are there and related to sales department this employee this employee here one more employee and here one more employee total four employees are belonging to sales department and technical department three employees are there okay and their corresponding salaries are written here okay now the requirement is in individual department you have to return the employee names who are having top three salaries okay right that is the requirement then what you can do you just can apply the partitioning concept here like just recall with respect to hive how we work in big data domain we basically try to send same partition data in particular place right similar like that here in this case what we will do, we will try to send all the same department information in one partition. Suppose sales department information we are trying to put in one partition. Then technical department, all the employees will be putting in another partition. Okay. So first we will apply partition. So the structure will look like this. And now what we will do in individual partition, we will sort based on salary column. Okay. So first what we are doing, we are basically doing partitioning on department column. Then we are applying sorting on salary column. If we do sort on descending order, then we will be getting like this kind of structure. Okay. And now you can apply dense rank concept. So if we apply dense rank on individual partition, we will be getting for sales, we will be getting rank as well as for technical, we will be getting rank. Okay. Note this is not global rank. This is just inside partition. We are getting the rank, right? Now here what you can do, you can basically apply on this rank column a filter condition that return only those ranks which are less than equal to 3. Okay, that way in individual departments top 3 employees which is having maximum salaries you will be getting. Right, like if you consider this particular table, if you apply on rank column, if you apply the condition rank should be less than equal to 3, then see for Anna who is belonging to sales department this will be getting filtered out okay because he or she is not belonging to top three highest paying uh, employees in the sales department okay so like that way you can do data analysis right so simple concept you can apply partitioning then do order by then apply dense rank obviously not row number or not rank because if you apply row number simply it will be having an auto increment value right so suppose you are getting tie for one particular value one row number you will be getting for another particular same value you will be getting other row number which is not justifiable right and also i have discussed the disadvantage of applying simple rank function obviously if there is tie it will be giving same value for tie result but for the next value it will be jumping and uh, taking some other values instead of following the proper sequential order but if you are following dense rank concept then it will be following proper sequence along with the tie management right so we are going to use basically dense rank concept right so how the code will look like so first we are dropping the database ramu if it exists all these codes i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section then here we are creating the database then here we are using the database then here we are creating a table with employee id employee name employee salary and the department id okay so this is one table okay so it is created and then here i will insert some data okay 
then here if I do select star from employee, we will be getting this kind of information. Okay. So department name is not present in this table. Suppose for your context, you are having department information in another table which is called department table. Okay. Which is having department ID and name. So basically this department table and employee table you can basically relate. So for department table this ID is basically department ID okay which is primary key for this table and for employee table you are having department ID as the column name which is basically acting like foreign key okay. So I hope you are getting these simple concepts of SQL. So I will basically insert for IT and sales and then here I will execute select star from department okay. So here we are getting the department ID and department name. So to get department wise top 3 salary related employee information what we need we first need to join the department table and employee table okay and here you can understand that what is going to be the join column that is nothing but the department id so for department table we are going to take id and for employee table we are going to take department id okay and you can apply inner join not an issue right because anyway all the departments whatever present in employee table for this context it is available in department table as well okay but uh, you can optimize the join condition based on your requirement so here what we are doing we are taking the department name from the department table and employee name for the first table and employee salary also from the first table okay and the department table alias name we are giving b and inner join employee a on b dot id here this id is nothing but department id equal to a dot department id so a is nothing but employee table from employee table we are taking the department id column right so you will run this particular one and as a result we will be getting for individual employee instead of department id now we are getting department name okay once we get the department name what i told you that you can basically apply first partitioning on department and then apply order by on salary column and then apply tens rank okay so on individual partition basically you will be getting rank right so here i am using basically common table expression so select this particular join whatever we applied that suppose we are putting as common table expression with the name mixed okay and the, on that mixed basically we are going to apply our window operation okay so select department employee and salary tens rank over partition by department order by salary decreasing because we want high salary so basically rank 1 has to be given for that employee which is having high salary in that department so order by salary decreasing we want otherwise if you don't specify anything it will be by default in ascending order and that way the employee in individual department who is having lowest salary they will be given rank 1 okay that we don't want we want the employee which is having high salary for them we want to give the rank one right so we are giving order by salary decreasing and that alias name we are giving as ranking from mixed what is mixed mixed is basically this join result set okay so if we do here we are able to see that rank okay now on this ranking column what we can do we can apply filter condition and suppose top three highest paying employees information we require so we can apply ranking value less than equal to 3 okay on this result set so basically our code final query can look like this so first what we are doing using a common table expression we are generating the result set after joining employee table and department table then here we are applying another common table expression as window applied as the name as select department comma employee comma salary comma dense rank over partition by department order by salary decreasing ranking from mixed okay so basically here mixed is the first common table expression then mixed we are using basically to apply the dense rank and we are storing the result in window applied and on this particular common table expression we can apply the ranking less than equal to 3 filter condition okay so if we run this particular one here we will be getting only those employees who are coming under top three highest paying employees in individual department okay so you can see in it department max who is basically getting 90000 then joe which is 85000 randy who is also 85000 so joe randy both are coming under top three so both are coming as well as will which is 70000 okay and sales department this two employees okay henry and sam right because if you see our this particular table basically this one 
here in sales department only two employees are there so top three when you are trying to filter obviously both employees you will be getting as out right so this is the simple concept along with order by along with other properties of window function you can play with partitioning as well for this kind of context where you have to basically order rows belonging to a particular group like here we have to order all the employees belonging to a particular department individually it is not like global ordering it is individual partition level ordering we are doing that's why we are using partition clause as well in the window function right so all these codes i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section until you practice this particular concept it is hard to grasp this so try to run these queries try to feel the idea and try to practice as much as you can then only in the interview process you will be finding this very simple to answer back okay this is all for my this video thank you